Existing restrictions on sporting events remain in place. With other sectors facing more easing of regulations, Wednesday's address was disappointing for some in the sports sector. As supporters, you know when we go to the stadium, it goes hand in hand with food. Also the people who are selling food at the stadium are also suffering because now they don't put uh, food on the table. Also the securities, we only have few for security now uh, working at the stadium. So I'm begging, please, Mr. President, open for us, Mr. President. From where we're sitting, this approach that's taken by the presidency begins to say to us, we suggest, I mean from a layman, we suggest that uh, 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 football is a peddler of uh, COVID-19. So which means if we play sport, then we, we stand to uh, spread the virus more than any other people. South Pooh is not the only group left disillusioned. The National Football Supporters Association is equally frustrated at the lack of engagement on the reopening of sport. As the football supporters, we, we, we felt that we needed to, to send out a very strong message to say, we have been very patient, we are not being unreasonable, and we thought by now the Minister of Sports would have had an engagement with us with regards to plans in getting back the football supporter to the stadium. Other industries have taken to the streets to make themselves heard. Must we also organize the players and go block M1 or block, block some highway? Once the highway is blocked, then they would listen. Both organizations are hoping to avoid this course of action. The extreme measures will be to take this matter to the courts and let the courts decide. Because as um, National Football Supporters um, Association, we feel that we do have a legal recourse when it comes to this matter. These stakeholders hope for more engagement with football bosses and government following this weekend's SAPA NEC meeting. Johannesburg.